As network technologies develop, new services such as real-time conference and HD video have high requirements for the bandwidth and delay. When these services are transmitted on limited bandwidth, problems such as congestion and packet loss may occur. Users are no longer satisfied with simply transmitting packets to a destination. They require better services, for example, when they want to obtain dedicated bandwidth and control and prevent network congestion. QoS is used to address the preceding problem. QoS provides end-to-end -end service guarantees for differentiated services. For example, QoS of supervisors on a company network need to be insured first. How do we solve this problem? Class-based traffic policing can solve this problem. Traffic classification allows us to switch to classify packets. The switch can then process classified packets in differentiated manners so that differentiated services are provided for users sharing the bandwidth. The switch configured with class-based traffic policing classifies all receipt packets based on MAC addresses or IP addresses and identifies packets from employees and supervisors. Then packets from supervisors are sent at higher rates and packets from employees are sent at lower rates. Bandwidth of supervisors are insured first. When employees connect to the network, video services are not smoothly transmitted and calls are interrupted. Why? This is because bandwidth of employees are limited. When employees use high bandwidth services such as video conferences and VoIP, traffic congestion occurs due to insufficient bandwidth. Consequently, packets are discarded. To address this issue, we use congestion management and, avo and congestion avoidance. To implement congestion management and congestion avoidance, the switch needs to perform priority mapping for packets. That is, the switch maps 802.1p or DSCP priorities in packets to ensure local priorities and marks red, yellow, and green colors to these packets. After priority mapping is complete, the switch sends packets to different queues based on the local priorities. Huawei switches support up to 8 interface queues. After packets enter different queues based on the local priorities, the switch uses queue scheduling to implement congestion management. The switch provides PQ, WRR, DRR, and WFQ. During priority mapping, the switch can color packets and discard packets according to packet colors when congestion occurs. For example, you can configure the switch to discard some or all packets of a specified color when network traffic reaches a specified threshold. This example uses data and video packets on a network to describe congestion management and congestion avoidance. Data packets with local priority of BE enter the low priority queues and are colored red, and video packets with local priority of AF enter high priority queues and are colored green. The switch therefore sends video packets in high priority queues. When many packets exist on a network, some data packets are colored red and are discarded to relieve congestion. Congestion management and congestion avoidance ensure that the delay-sensitive services obtain high-quality QoS. That's all for today's QoS introduction. If you want to learn more about QoS on Huawei S-Series switches, please visit our website at enterprise.huawei.com or scan the above QR code. Thank you for watching.